Hi, I'm Matt Atchity, and this is the Rotten Tomatoes Review Roundup for the first weekend in March. Now that the Oscar hoopla has died down, Hollywood's gone back to business as usual, giving us more sequels and adaptations than original ideas. Let's see what the critics have to think. For glory's sake, war! 300 Rise of an Empire is a sequel of sorts to the 2006 film 300, and it tells the story of the Battle of Artemisia, an epic sea battle that takes place at the same time as the events from the first film. Strike Back star Sullivan Stapleton plays Athenian general Themistocles, facing off an evil queen played by Eva Green. Critics say that this sequel is over the top, sometimes too much so, just like the first one. But if you enjoyed the spectacle of 300, you'll probably be satisfied here. 300 Rise of an Empire is rotten at 49%. Oi, your hand's cold, Mr. Peabody. Sherman, that's not my hand. <laughs> That's disarming. Mr. Peabody and Sherman is a CGI animated film based on the Peabody's improbable history segments of the Rocky and Bullwinkle show, you know, from the 60s. A 50-year-old cartoon may not be familiar to everyone, so here's the breakdown. Mr. Peabody is a brilliant scientist and inventor who just happens to be a talking dog, and he has an adopted boy named Sherman. Together, they travel through time in the Wayback Machine to make sure that various pivotal events in history happen the way they should. Critics like this one a lot. Most agree that the movie has a good story and plenty of jokes for the whole family. And although the kids may not be familiar with the characters, they should still have a good time. I'm good! Mr. Peabody and Sherman is fresh at 74%. Opening in the limited release this weekend is The Grand Budapest Hotel, the latest film from director Wes Anderson. Featuring an all-star cast, including Ray Fiennes, Jeff Goldblum, and Bill Murray, it's a story of a hotel concierge who teams up with one of his employees to prove his innocence after he's been framed for murder. The film was a big hit at the Berlin Film Festival, and critics like it too. They call it dazzling and delightful, and a perfect blend of humor and emotion. Although it may be hard to find, it's definitely worth seeking out. Stop! The Grand Budapest Hotel is certified fresh at 87%. Well, there you have it. A 3D CGI animated adventure, an adventure with lots of CGI, or an art house film with very little CGI. Take your pick. And remember, you can find out more about these movies, read the latest reviews, and see our own video interviews and so much more at RottenTomatoes.com. Tune in next week when we see if DreamWorks can create their own street racing franchise. See you then.